Hello everyone, this is Tony, and I am starting my new weight loss diary. I'm about to show you what I ate and how I exercised the past week and how it affected my weight each day. I'll be using my New Balance 2 scale to record my results. This week I started out at 153.6 and I lost four and a half pounds. Here's how. Okay, so it's day one of my weight loss diary. I got on the scale this morning and it said 152.6, which is a pound down from yesterday when I recorded. And that's because I didn't eat much yesterday. Um, I lost a pound because I had a lot of work to do and the night before and I actually didn't sleep. So I slept most of the day yesterday. It's not good to not eat, but I was sleeping, and so I lost a pound, which is great. So today I am going to get ready to go to the gym. I got my gym clothes on. The things I want to work on is my arms, uh, some flap under my arms, my stomach. You can see my stomach and my thighs. Um, it gets really um, thick around here, but that's where most of my weight goes. I can't touch this because my husband says to leave that alone. So, but first I am going to make breakfast and um, hit the road to start working out. Before I start, I want to show you a few low fat substitutes I'll be using. I'll be spraying my cooking pans with canola oil spray instead of oil. I'm using fat-free milk along with fat-free cheese and meal. I'll be using stevia in a raw as a sweetener instead of sugar. Very thin slices of whole wheat Kaiser bread. Shirataki tofu noodles instead of pasta. This is just 10 calories a serving as opposed to 200 in pasta. I found this at my Asian farmer's market. And although you won't see it, I'll be drinking water all throughout the day. So for most of my meals when I'm cooking in a pan, I'm going to be using this canola oil spray instead of butter or oil. I'm spraying my pans with a very light coat and this helps cut down on fat and calories. So for my breakfast, I'm cooking an egg white omelet. I'm using peppers and onions, minced garlic, and a pre-cooked pork sausage link. I'm adding about three tablespoons of egg whites, salt and pepper to taste, and I'm sprinkling on some grated cheese, low fat. I then fold it over, turn it off, and put some cheese on top to melt. To go with my omelet, I'm making myself a little garlic toast. For this, I'm gonna cut a Kaiser bread. This is a whole wheat Kaiser bread in four because I'm trying to eat very little bread. So on one of those pieces, I'm spreading a little bit of Weight Watchers low fat cream cheese and sprinkling minced garlic and parsley flakes on top. What I'm having to drink is a little cup of green tea. To sweeten it, instead of sugar, I'm using stevia and I'm adding some lemon juice and two capfuls of Bragg's apple cider vinegar. This is good for your system and it helps you lose weight. So here is my breakfast. I usually like to have jelly on my bread, so instead I'm having a side of blueberries and strawberries. Right after breakfast, I went to work out at the gym. Okay, so I'm just leaving the gym. They wouldn't let me film in there, but I'll tell you what I did. I played racquetball for 20 minutes, and then I got on the machine and did a abdominal crunches. I did about 50 of those. So I'm on my way home now because um, I had to get to work. So here's what I had for the rest of the day. I had a half of apple with one teaspoon of all natural no sugar peanut butter. 
I smeared the peanut butter over the apple, candy apple style. For lunch, I had a cheeseburger made with 90% lean beef, fat-free cheese, light mayo, lettuce, tomatoes, and all on a light whole wheat bun. For my second snack, I had a handful of mixed nuts and raisins. And for dinner, I had mitsu soup made with tofu and spinach. In between a few meals, I did a few flights of stairs. I did about 10 flights altogether, two stairs at a time. And that was day one. So it's day two and I got on the scale this morning and it said 152.4, which is two ounces down from the day before, not much. But I think um, I realized that I did a few things that I didn't record. I ate a few things that I shouldn't have. Um, and I did it unconsciously. I went to the hardware store and my daughter was with me and she got some popcorn and gave out free popcorn. And uh, while she, we were in the car going to the grocery store, I just grabbed my hand in a bag and, and ate a few um, handfuls of popcorn. Uh, also at the grocery store, she picked up a lemon meringue pie. And I said, well, I'm not gonna eat that at home. Um, she had some and said, oh, this is really good. And I said, let me taste a little bit of that. I just wanna see what it tastes like. So I had a little, a little bit of that, a little sliver of that. I also had um, some vegetable chips before I went to bed, like a handful of that. And uh, I, I would do that all the time, and I did that unconsciously. But so um, those things I need to be conscious of and try to make sure that uh, I stay on track and just eat the things that um, I'm supposed to while I'm on this um, weight loss journey. I'm not going to the gym today. What I'm going to do is exercise throughout the day. I'm going to use the, the tips that the boys gave me. And in between work, I'll be exercising and um, I'll let you know what I did and what I ate today. Here's what I had on day two. For breakfast, I had a parfait with fat-free Greek yogurt, blueberries and strawberries, a little granola, and fat-free whipped cream. Oh, and I sprinkled nutmeg on top. For a snack, I had a beef sausage stick and a Kobe Jack cheese stick. For lunch, I had my leftover mitsu soup with spinach and tofu, but I added shrimp to the dish. And I had a couple of pieces of baked pita bread chips. What I'm drinking is a cold version of my apple cider vinegar and lemon tea, but I added a mint leaf. For dinner, I made beef tenderloin, and I made um, that with Abe's rubbing sauce, so it was so good. I made sweet potatoes without sugar. I used agave nectar and stevia, and I made Brussels sprouts roasted with a vinaigrette. Boy, this was so good. I couldn't stop eating. I actually had too many helpings of it. Between the meals and work, I did a few flights of stairs and a couple of the quick workouts from the boys. And that was day two. Okay, good morning. Today is day three and I got on my balance two scale. That's my cat. Um, and it said 152 which is um, down four ounces from yesterday, about um, two pounds altogether for the last uh, three days. And <clears throat> it's going a little slow. I would love to lose like a pound a day. So I'm gonna have to rub things up a little bit, maybe do a little more exercises or uh, eat smaller portions. Last night I had beef tenderloin and it was so good. I put some of Abe's um, fat Creole rub on it and it was delicious. 
So I had to uh, figure out how to stop eating. Uh, I, I eat even when I'm not hungry because it just tastes so good. So um, anyway, also tonight I'm going to a concert, which is uh, gonna be hard because I'm going out to eat with some friends before. And um, uh, I had to figure out how not to eat too much. So, so today I'm gonna eat light and I'm working out at home. We have a roar. I did 30 minutes of this and 30 leg lifts. Then for breakfast, I had a half done egg with goat cheese and spinach and a side of berries. I had a plain half an apple for a snack for lunch, I had grilled chicken breast and a salad with a light dressing. Okay, I am out with my friends. We're going to see Prince tonight. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. We're going to see Prince! Prince! Yay! <laughs> there go. there go. <laughs> So we're having some martinis. Cheers. I'm really excited. So hopefully I won't gain too much weight with uh, martinis and food. As I love to eat with my best friend from New Orleans. Yeah. So I'll check you guys later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, so it's day four. I'm a little behind schedule because I, I got up late um, because I was, um, I got a late start because I had to put out a, a video this morning and I went out last night. I went to see Prince, which was awesome. And um, I got on the scale this morning and I lost weight. My um, balance two scale said, 151.4 so i'm really happy because i thought i would gain weight after going out but i didn't really get to eat dinner we just had a little appetizer and some drinks because we didn't have time to have dinner we had to wait in a will call line um, that was around the block so uh anyway Today, I am gonna get back on track. I'm, um, I'm not going to the gym or exercising this morning. I'm gonna do some exercises, sporadic exercises in between my meals and in between working. So let's see what happens today. This morning for breakfast, I had a fried egg and bacon with a slice of whole wheat toast and a homemade sugar-free jam I made by mashing strawberries and blueberries together. I added a drop of agave nectar and some stevia to sweeten it. I cooked it over a medium flame until it was thick and then I had my jam. For lunch, I made a curry beef soup with the leftover beef tenderloin. To make this dish, I blended a teaspoon of my favorite curry paste in about three cups of water. I added a little lemon juice, agave nectar, about a fourth of a cup of onions, peppers, and parsley. And I'm adding drained shirataki noodles. I added a little minced garlic, chicken bouillon, and seasoned salt to taste. At the very end, I added a few frozen sweet peas and the diced beef tenderloin. And then I was done. Mm. Okay, it's Friday night and I'm going to meet one of my girlfriends to go out to dinner. Um, the weekends are hard because I like to go out. <laughs> and um, there's always food involved when I go out. Anyway, I'll show you what I'm eating at the restaurant, and I'm gonna try to eat very light. Okay, I'm out at a Mexican restaurant with my friend, my best friend, Lupita, and right now we're having nachos and guacamole. 
and um, I ordered some food. I'll show you what that is when I get it. So, oh, I also have a skinny, skinny margarita. Hopefully, um, it won't be too bad this weekend, and I'll still be able to lose weight and have fun. And here's our food. This is a quesadilla, and um. <laughs> I'm try not to eat all of that. And I have a trifecta, three tacos. I'll try to eat just one of them, maybe two or one and a half. Okay, so it's day five and Yesterday, I went out with my friend. She called me and she said, you know, there's this new Rex Mexican restaurant. I want to try it. Want to go out? And I said, yeah, of course, sure. <laughs> I was so excited um, about losing weight the day before when I went to the concert that I thought I could use today as a cheat day and just go out and eat what I want and it'll be okay. So I went out with her and uh, ordered all of this beautiful Mexican food and I thought I'll just eat a little bit of it. I'll eat like half of my serving and then take the rest home. And <clears throat> I we had some margaritas and talking and I ended up eating all of that delicious, beautiful food. So got on the scale this morning and it said 152.2 which is almost a pound up, you know, from yesterday. So really <laughs> disappointed in that. Um, and it, because it takes me a few days just to lose a pound. So today I decided I'm gonna figure out how to lose that pound today. So today I decided to just try making a big smoothie out of all my meals. So I blended pineapples, melons, apples, blueberries, and strawberries with spinach, avocados, tomatoes, and carrots. And I added a cup of yogurt, skim milk, pineapple mango juice, and I put it all together in a big blender. And I decided I was going to drink this three times today and just have some snacks in between. This actually tastes pretty good, but next time I would recommend you using a, a Nutribullet um, so that you can make a fresh cup every serving. It starts to get bitter after it sits a little while, so each cup I had tasted a little bitter and plus it was very chewy with the carrots in it, so the Nutribullet will probably blend all of that stuff in. Okay, it's the first day it's not raining, so I'm gonna take a quick walk, a 20 minute walk. I have a lot of hills here. I want you to see this hill. Goes straight down. And then I had to climb up. Hey, this is climbing up that hill. Very steep. This is quite a workout. In between having a smoothie, I also had a California roll. I had two pieces three separate times this day. Okay, so it is day six and I got on a scale this morning and I am back on track. It said 150. 1.0 um, so really happy about that I can start off um, or continue from where I left off so what I did yesterday was just drink all of my food uh, I did lose like almost a pound and a half so that's cool I have a lot of work to do so I'm gonna continue to eat very small portions um, just um, in between my work So this day I had oatmeal for breakfast made with blueberries, skim milk, pecans, and nutmeg, and some agave nectar for a sweetener. For lunch I had a piece of Asian barbecue chicken. 
a light salad and leftover asparagus. I had another sushi roll left over so I ate this in between my meals and for dinner. I had three pieces of California roll two times today. And I did a few of the boys quick tip exercises in between work. Okay, so it is day seven and I got on my balance two scale and it said 150.4. So that's good, I'm down another pound. I am slowly making up for that weekend that I had where I ate so much. Uh, so today I am going to go to the gym and I have a lot of work to do. So I'm going to just eat really light meals, maybe six times a day and try to exercise in between that. And after today, um, tomorrow morning I get on a scale and see how much I lost for the week. Instead of going to the gym, I did a few exercises on the floor, the burpee and the leg lifts. For breakfast, I had a fruit and vegetable smoothie. For my first snack, I had a couple of celery sticks and a teaspoonful of natural peanut butter. For lunch, I had an egg salad sandwich made with a tiny bit of light meal on a whole wheat toasted bread. My second snack, I had cheese cubes and beef sticks with apple slices. And for dinner, I had a very light salad made with spinach, avocados, boiled eggs, um, pecans, bacon bits, and a little feta cheese. Okay, so it's the end of the first week. And uh, I got on the scale this morning and my beautiful balance two scale said that I am 149.2. So I started at 153.6 and um, now I'm down a little um, less than four and a half pounds. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, my goal was five pounds and considering my weekend celebrations and uh, my little uh, uh, tasting binge eating uh, I, I got back on track and I'm just um, pretty much at my goal uh, I'll see you again next week and see how it goes and check the description box below for a special offer on this beautiful lightweight balance to scale you can get this $125 scale for 50 bucks. That's 60% off by using the code below.